Today we're talking about jeans. This is going to be fun because there are some styles that are currently really popular that I am a huge fan of. And then there are some that not so much. And that's the fun thing with fashion. You pick what you like and you wear. And you know, it's fun to dabble in the trends and see what's popular or flattering or, you know, anything like that. But you do you. I'm going to do me. So if I like a certain style of jean and you don't, okay, no worries. And if you like a style that I don't, that's okay too. It's just fun. That's the fun part of fashion. I love that. So let's get started. Well, okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's start with jeans that are really popular right now that I would not wear. We're going to start with the barrel jean. Now, this is a style and a silhouette that I personally will not be wearing. I don't think that it would be very flattering on me because I am five feet zero, petite girl. I think that they would be very overwhelming on me. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't try them if you like them. Yes, that's Bella in the background. So I have seen these jeans on other women that are much taller than me and they can totally pull it off. So it's not that the jean itself is awful. It's that for me, it's not a style that would flatter me, compliment my body type, anything like that. So, and look, I wanted to also tell you, when I saw the jeans that are popular right now that I would not wear, I chose to find them on sites that I love to shop at, Nordstrom, Anthropology. Shop bop, just places that, in other words, I'm not going to the teen department, you know, the teen section at a department store and finding the most ugly jeans I could find. That's not how this works. I investigated and I found what is most popular in jean trends right now in 2024. And then I went to my favorite places to shop and searched for that. And this is what I found. So these are good brands. They're good quality. And, oh, this is another thing. So I would click on, let's just say, the barrel jean. And they're almost sold out. I mean, there's hardly any sizes left. So that tells me that it's very popular. It's selling fast. And that I might be in the minority of not liking that style. And that's okay. It doesn't bother me <laughs> that I would be in the minority at all because I'm gonna wear what I like and what I'm most comfortable in. So there we go. Number one is the barrel jean. The horseshoe jean is very similar in style to the barrel jean, only I noticed on the silhouette that the horseshoe sort of, uh, it's more of a, well, it's kind of shaped like a horseshoe instead of where the barrel jeans were kind of a straight full leg. These are more shaped like a, like a horseshoe. So another very popular look, this pair I'm showing you is from Anthropology and it's by a brand I love, Citizens of Humanity. So again, these are good jeans, high quality jeans from reputable stores that I enjoy shopping. And they're just styles that they're just not gonna work for me, but they may work for you. And I have seen influencers wear these jeans and I think to myself, seriously, I don't know how she does it, but she can totally rock those jeans. And I love that because there's something for everybody, you know, and this may be your style and it may look fabulous on you. But for me, I'm going to have to pass because it just, it'll be very overwhelming for my frame. I wanted to also tell you too. So as usual, I have everything linked down in the description box below in the order in which I'm showing. So when I show number one, you can go down to the description box and find number one. And that's what I showed. Number two, number two. The last style that is very popular, and I think it's really cute, but it just doesn't work for me, is the wide cuff trend. And it, you know, and I've seen it on petite people and I, and it works. And I think, I don't know how she does that because it looks really cute on her, but it just, and I've tried them on in store and it's just something that is not going to be for me. 
great style, very much on trend. You see them everywhere. And it's just something that I'm gonna pass on. Before we move on to the silhouettes that I do like and I do own, and I'm super excited to show you because I think you'll like them too. We're gonna take a little road trip. I had a question. Someone asked me if I would demonstrate how I use a steamer. So we're gonna take a small little break here. I'm gonna show you my steamer and then we'll jump back into the rest of the jean trends. All right, so this is my standing steamer and it plugs into the wall and it has this long neck right here and then there's the steamer part. So it has a little tank right there that I fill up with distilled water. Let me grab the tank right quick, one second. So this is what the tank looks like. And I just unscrew this and I put distilled water in there and then I just hook it right back into where it goes on the steam. All right, so there's a power switch down here that I'm just gonna pop on and it lights up. And then in a few minutes, the steam is going to start coming out up here. All right, so the steam is coming out. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. And so you, I do it both ways. So I will just press it. I'm actually touching the garment and I'll run it up and down. But probably the most effective way, the way I do it is to put it underneath the garment and move down slowly like this and all the wrinkles come out. It is such a cool thing to have. So you can just get up here like this and come down slowly. Now there's going to be some things that you have to iron. You can't just use a steamer on, but for 90% of the things, the steamer works just fine. If you're somebody that steams or irons a lot, this may be great, the standing steamer. If you're not, the handheld steamer would be just fine. I steam almost every day because of what I do, because of my job, but I do have a handheld that I bring with me when I travel. So let's look at that one. All right, this is the one that I travel with. This is the water tank on it. And so you fill that up, you plug it in, and then steam is gonna come out of here. And so I just, again, same method. I will just put it underneath and steam down or across like that, so easy. But this is great for travel. Couple of ways we can stay connected if you'd like to is, of course, hit subscribe and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos twice a week here on YouTube. Another way for us to stay in touch is through my newsletter. So that is something that I put out twice a week. It goes out on Tuesday and Fridays. And Tuesday is usually just a little, little quick update kind of newsletter. And then Fridays, I share more personal things and maybe a recipe or something with my family and also upcoming sales that are, are going to happen that weekend. So it gives you a little heads up about things that are going on. So if you like that type of thing, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter. I'm gonna put that down below as well. It's just a link that you tap and you just put your email address in there and that way we can stay in touch. That way, you know, I had a, a follower friend email me who got the newsletter a couple weeks ago and she said, you know, I went off social media for a while because uh, I just needed a break. And she said, I loved that I could still stay in touch with you through your newsletter. I felt like I wasn't losing, we were still connected. So that was so encouraging for me to hear. And so know that if you decide to take a break from social media or YouTube or something that we can still stay connected through the newsletter. Now, speaking of social media, I do have an Instagram account. It's just the same as here on YouTube, Poised Petite or Poised Style. And, or you could search by my name, Michelle Averett. But um, it's fun to, to follow me over there too because I can do quick little posts or quick stories, quick updates as things are restocked or if they get marked down, I can just come on real quick and let you know about that. So if you are on Instagram, um, I invite you to follow me over there. So it, that's kind of a fun place too. I had to start with a classic, you know I do, because my style is pretty classic and just simple. But to me, a slim 
straight, not skinny, but like a slimmer silhouette is going to be in style always and forever. So I think we all need a good slimmer straight jean, ankle jean. Now, I love this pair. I love the wash of this, especially in the summer. I tend to gravitate towards lighter washes in the summer and darker washes in the fall and winter. So this is a lighter wash and I love the fit. It has a great stretch, but it's one of those silhouettes that it's timeless and it never goes out of style. So if you have a pair of slim, straight ankle jeans from three years ago and you love them, hang on to them because it's just a classic style. And for me, again, keeping it very simple, I just paired it with a white t-shirt. I love that look. Just good fitting jeans, a classic white t-shirt, no embellishments, just simple, clean, polished look. I love that. So that's what I have here. And then, oh, over my shoulders, I have a striped sweatshirt, just blue and white. Just thought that was cute to have kind of like the third layer um, to update the look just a little, not update, but elevate the look just a little bit. And then the sandals, those are actually, I have them on right now. Let me show you. So these are Sam Edelman. Love these sandals. Super comfortable. This color in particular, the caramel color, the brown is so popular right now. You're seeing hints of it with handbags, with belts, with shoes. It's just really, really popular right now. So that's another thing. Oh, and the sandals I have found a, another price point too with a similar style linked below. We all need a good pair of white jeans and this is a great pair of jeans. I love the silhouette on these. Now, this is the crop, sort of a little kick flare. It's not called a kick flare, but, oh, I think it's called a kick crop. It might be called the kick crop, but you'll notice the length is about an inch above the ankle and this pair in particular is petite and the first pair, they're all petite. All the jeans that I'm sharing with you today are all petite sizes. So, okay, this is a petite and it was slightly long for me. However, it came with a frayed hem. So I just cut to the length that I wanted it to be. And then when I washed it, it got a frayed hem. So it looks exactly like it did when it got here, only I just made it a little bit shorter for my height. And I'm 5'0", so if you're taller than me and you order these jeans, you may not need to do that, but just know that you can with frayed jeans. It's, it's just an option. So this pair in particular has a great amount of stretch to them. Now, with white jeans, I usually recommend sizing up one, which is what I did because they just show a little bit more. They show cellulite, <laughs> they show lumps and bumps, and who wants that? So it's just a little bit of a looser fit if you just go up one size and you're not gonna have that issue. If, if that matters to you, which it kind of matters to me, so I like to size up. This pair is just a real fun, comfortable, easy style. Now, let me say this too. When talking about the length of jeans, so you'll notice that I mentioned one inch above the ankle. If it matters, and it may not matter to you about the length, but if it matters, if you're wanting to stay current with the current styles, we're seeing either the ankle jean, which is you know about an inch above the ankle bone, or the longer length. So that might be a flare leg that's longer or a wide leg that's longer, but we're not really seeing jean links that go below the ankle and just stop right there. So that's not to say that you can't wear them if you love them. I'm just telling you what's currently in style and that is not. So that's what you're gonna see today. Love the white jeans, have more styles uh, recommended at different price points down below as well. The top that I have on with the white jeans is a real fun one. So it has just a slight puff on the sleeve. It's available in regular petite and plus sizes. I will say that it runs small, so I would size up. 
if you want it to be a little bit loose. Um, I'm wearing it in a regular extra small. Normally I would have gotten the petite, but they did not have the petite in my store. And I knew I tried the extra small on and it fit fine. So I just went with that. So very cute top and it comes in, I think four different colors. So it's a fun one for the summer. I'm gonna be honest, this style, the wide leg style was very hard for me to decide to get. I was very scared that it would feel very overwhelming on me. I felt like it might not be very flattering on me. It is so on trend right now. And I've seen so many petite women totally rock the wide leg jean. And so I said, you know what? I just have to try it. I just have to try it. If I don't like it, I don't have to wear it, but I need to try it. And so I ordered these and I love them. I love them. I don't know. I guess they feel dressier to me. You know, they feel... I feel like my legs look longer for sure. And I thought that my legs might look stumpy in in this style, in this silhouette, but honestly, I like it. So I was very surprised. So let me just say, if there's a style like that that you see and you think, gosh, that is so cute, but you think it wouldn't, you know, I don't know if I could pull it off, go try it on, order it. Send it back if it doesn't work. This, this style is just really, I think it's dressier looking. I just think it's a little bit more elegant. I don't know, I, I, I really, really like it. And so this style, of course, I have linked below with various price points so that you know anyone can shop. But it's, it's a silhouette that really, really surprised me. And the top that I have paired with it is the white eyelet. Now you've seen me show this before. I love eyelet, especially in the summer. I think it's just a summer sort of fabric and the texture of it. And it's just really, really pretty. This one in the top, I'm not wearing a petite. It just comes in regular sizes and I'm wearing an extra small and it fits just perfect. And then I wanted to put a heel with the wide leg because I thought it was just a little bit dressier. So I do have the transparent strap uh, block heel with it. So I thought that was really cute. Let me know. Okay. I know I might get some <laughs> negative comments and that's okay. I'm asking for it. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the wide leg jeans? Do you think I can pull them off? <laughs> yes or no? It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings if you say no. Um, is it a style that you like and that you wear? Moving on to the flattering flare leg jean. I love this look. This is very slimming. It's very flattering. It's very elongating when you look at, at the silhouette. Now, the difference between the wide leg and the flare leg is that the wide leg is going to be wider all the way down and the flare leg is going to be slimmer through the hips and the leg and then about the knee it starts flaring out and you know you can do a real wide flare you can do a like a boot cut that's a little bit some of them they call boot cuts are i think they're flare but it just it just depends on the brand but you can do a mini flare, you can do a big old flare. This is, I think this one is a medium flare and I just love it. Some people, it's not their thing and that's okay. But I think this is a very flattering look, especially when you wear it a little bit longer in length. So it's, a, in other words, I could not wear this one with flat shoes. And I'm okay with that because I don't want to wear flat shoes with it. I want to wear a little bit of a heel because I want that extra height and I want that elongating look to it. So I ordered it. I wanted it a slightly little bit long so that it would, uh, if I were to wear flats, it was kind of dragging the floor. But if you are a little bit of a heel, it's going to just barely skim the top of your foot and then almost touch the floor in the back. Not quite though. That look to me, just that that slimmer and then flare look is just beautiful. So, so pretty. Now, again, this one's available in 
a lot of different price points. So I have linked uh, other versions below for you. And the top, oh, the top that I have on is this one. So this is a fun little top. It has the lace poofy kind of sleeves that stop right at the elbow. And I would say it's a looser fit. I'm wearing it in an extra small and it fits really nicely, really good quality. It's just kind of that, a take on, you know, elevating your basic tee. It's very similar to the white one that I showed you in the beginning with the slim straight jeans, only this one has a little bit of a looser fit and the sleeves of course are the star of the show but love the love this top paired with the flare leg jeans. Just like we all need a pair of white jeans in our closet, I think it's fun to have a pair of black jeans as well. Can you wear black jeans in the summer? Yes! They're not just for fall and winter. Now, especially when you pair them with a light color top, just sort of brighten it up a bit, but yes, you can wear black jeans in the summer. Now, this pair is called the Mini, M-I-N-I, Boot Cut, and you'll notice the length. It's that sort of cropped ankle style, and it has just that mini little boot cut at the bottom, just not quite a flare, just a little bit like that, kind of like a kick crop, uh, very much like a kick crop, actually, and the fit on these are just fabulous, great amount of stretch. This is one of my favorite pair of jeans as far as the way I feel in them and the way that they fit. Very flattering. Love seeing that ankle bone at the bottom. And so these jeans are perfect paired with a light color top. This top oh, is to me a stunner. Just love it. Oh, I do have it right here. Let me show it to you up close. Look how pretty. I love the detailing at the bottom. It's gorgeous. It's very spindy, very spindy, but um, it's cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. And then of course I had to style it with my favorite clear transparent strap block hill sandals. Very comfortable to walk in. That's probably been my most worn shoe in this the spring is, is that shoe. I just, it goes with everything. So, okay, so I have the black jeans and the, oh, and you know what? I had on a nude color tank underneath the top because you could see through the lace. It's not lined. So anyway, that look and then the straw bag and the, the sandals. Just a couple of little style tips to point out. So it's, it's my goal to look a little bit taller and leaner if possible, because I am very petite. And so one way of doing that is to wear a nude shoe. So I'll tell you most of my shoes, 98% of my shoes are nude, they're neutral color because it just, it keeps the line, when you're looking at someone, it keeps the line long going down, which creates an illusion of looking longer and taller. Now, the exception to that for me would be sometimes if I'm wearing a black pant, and I know this does not apply to the black jean I just showed you, but if I'm wearing a black pant, I'll wear a black shoe because then there, uh, it doesn't break. You don't see, you know, a long line of black with the pant and then a color. It's just a long line with the black. So the exception for me, and look, this doesn't have to be everybody. A lot of people like to wear pops of color with their shoe, which I love, I think it's adorable. I just choose not to because I, it's just not my thing. You know, it's just not for me, but it's, it's something that you can do if you wanna do. So. Most of my looks are going to have that neutral shoe to create the illusion of a longer, leaner look. And now also just another one, doesn't really have to do with pants, but if you're a petite girl and you know the goal is to look taller and leaner, another thing is to cuff your uh, the sleeves on, on a long sleeve shirt, which I would do most of the time anyway, but when you show a little bit of skin here and here, and then like the ankle down here, you're, you're, you just look a little bit taller, and I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, it makes a difference. All right, my friends, I am off to go get my roots done, and 
have lunch with my son. So I'm super excited about that. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you a little bit later here on YouTube.